Tonight we are at a nursery in Torrance, California, uh, which has the sort of unfortunate situation of being infested with coquille frogs. The coquille frog is considered a restricted species in the state of California, um, and the reason for that is because it's incredibly loud and it has the potential to keep people awake at night. A lot of people mistake it for a, a broken alarm, for example, and so um, it has some human health impacts in the sense that you know, it can really impact people's lives if it shows up in their neighborhood. Coquille frogs are native to Puerto Rico. They're beloved in Puerto Rico. People in Puerto Rico oftentimes love going to sleep to the sound of coquille frogs. But coquille frogs in Puerto Rico don't achieve the densities that they achieve in some of these non-native areas where they're becoming established. So in Hawaii, densities of coquille frogs are 50 to 100 times greater than they are in the native area. So coquille frogs were transported via the nursery plant trade from Puerto Rico to Hawaii in the 1980s and they become established on some of the islands in Hawaii. And now with nursery plant material, um, they're now coming across, um, they're escaping detection and coming across to some nurseries here in California. We currently have 15 people out helping us search for these coquille frogs, and that includes biologists with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, as well as biologists with the Natural History Museum and a whole slew of volunteers who are coming out and helping us tonight catch as many frogs as we possibly can. My name is Greg Pauley, and I'm the curator of herpetology at the Natural History Museum.